again with this E46, this time a check engine light. And it has a code, P174 and P0171, all right, which is a lean condition. We can also go to the fuel trim. And typically if it's above around 10%, then you know that the DME is compensating for a lean condition and adding fuel to it. And it looks like the short term is 14.8. And if you rev it a little bit, sometimes you can see it go higher, maybe a little bit lower. But in any case, we know that there's a lean problem going on, so we're going to diagnose that. Okay, so we can have a lean condition for many reasons. Um, a lot of times, it can be as simple as the dipstick tube being not all the way in. The oil cap. Vacuum leaks are obvious. Um, the MAF sensor or the boot connection to the MAF sensor. So we're gonna start off with uh, a smoke test. All right, so I've got my smoke machine set up here and got compressed air running to it. And what I've done is removed this nipple and put the smoke machine in there. And what I like to do is first test to see if any smoke leaks out here and then remove the MAF sensor and cap it off and then re-smoke the rest of it. Once I start to see smoke come out of the the intake then we know that this air box is just leaking and there is no leaks around here. If we see leaks around here we fix that and that's going to be part of the lean problem or if the entire lean problem. Alright let's just go and turn it on. already see smoke starting to escape from the intake entry but nothing really here I don't really like how this boot is not all the way on so it always makes you wonder if the seal isn't good anything after the MAF will cause it to run lean anything ahead of the MAF it's okay to have a leak all right so we're gonna shut it off and cap off the intake boot all right, so this is one of my favorite tools for intake testing. It's made by Redline, and it's basically a bladder that fills up. So you put it in here, close the valve, and just pump it up till it seals the intake boot. Okay, and then we're going to take our smoke inlet, put it in there, recap, take the cap off, put that back in, and we're going to see if we have any leaks. Alright, so it looks like we don't have any leaks where I can see any smoke escaping. And we know the crankcase is full of smoke. So we'll go on to the next step of diagnosing. Okay, so to check crankcase pressure, I've got this manometer that I got on Amazon. And I've put a different vacuum line on it, an adapter, then another adapter to go into the oil dipstick and we're gonna fire it up and see what it's at the spec is 13 M bar and we're looking for uh, somewhere around 8 to 15 M bar
Okay, so we've got about 20 M bar, which is a little higher than what it should be. Alright, so we do want to check to make sure our air filter isn't plugged. It's more rare of a problem, but this one does not look too great. But we're going to put it back in and check the uh, mass airflow readings. Alright, so for the MAF readings, I'm looking at about 45 grams at idle. And then we're going to go on a road test and go wide open throttle. And usually I want to see it to go around 150 grams. So uh, right now it's a little low, may or may not mean anything. But uh, we're going to go on the road test and see what that result is. Okay, so I got a little bit of open roadway. I'm going to floor it. Okay, here's another try. Alright, so I'm going to change the air filter out because it was pretty dirty and our MAF readings were not so great on the road test. So we want to make sure that our air filter isn't plugged up you can see it's pretty bad so here's a new one I'm gonna put that in go road test it and recheck our uh, mass airflow grams per second okay so here's the grams per second on the map with wide open throttle after the air filter replacement Well, it looks like after replacing the air filter, even my uh, grams per second at idle are much better. My fuel trims are good. I rev it up. Uh, they never deviate more than about, what, 4 or 5% on each bank. Nowhere close to where it was sitting before at 14% uh, compensation for a lean condition so um, I'm gonna have the customer drive this for a while and uh, we're gonna see if the MIL returns if it does I'll dig more into it and focus on the crankcase uh, ventilation since that was a bit out of spec but looks to me like that air cleaner was uh, you know making it happen so uh, just goes to show you that something that simple can uh, cause the MIL to come on and I think most shops would probably replace the mass sensor um, and also throw in an air cleaner while they're at it. And or they would do the crankcase ventilation and find out that uh, it's still running lean. And uh, then throw a MAF in it and then throw an air filter in it. So, uh, you know, I think it's good to have this kind of info uh, just to know how things work and uh, a simple, you know, $20 filter can uh, fix the MIL for a lean condition.